gotta be real with it. As 2018 comes to an end, we decided to look at the producers of the year, Genius Style, by gathering our most searched songs and their producers. At number 10, we have Louis Bell, who produced songs like Halsey's Without Me and Post Malone's Better Now and Psycho. At number 9 is Atlanta's Mike Will Made It, who crafted a slew of tracks this year, including J-Rock, Kendrick Lamar, and Future's King's Dead. Daddy, 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 on me now. At number eight, we have New Jersey's own Ronnie J for his work with Kanye West and Lil Pump's I Love It, as well as the withering MGK Eminem diss track, Rap Devil. Oh my God, Fuck we know you get nervous, rabbit. I see mama's spaghetti all over your sweater. I wish you would lose yourself in the records that you made a decade ago. They were better. According to them, you're a national treasure. Coming in at number seven is Memphis's Tay Keith, who had three Billboard Hot 100 top five hits, one of them being co-production on Travis Scott's Sicko Mode. I did half a zen, 13 hours till I land, had me out like a Light, ay, uh, like a light, ay, uh, like a light, like a light, slept through the flight. Not only that, Keith graduated from Middle Tennessee College and scored his very first number one hit in the same week. In July, he spoke to Genius about what's made him so successful. I say my sound kind of like the Memphis original down south bounce sound mixed with the new sound too. For number six, we have Illida producer who crafted Eminem's MGK response track, Kill Shot. <sighs> Till I'm hitting old age, still can fill a whole page with a 10 year old's rage. Got more fans than you in your own city, little kitty, go play. Feel like I'm babysitting Lil Tay. And according to Illa, the song wasn't originally for Eminem. But when Slim came calling, he answered. So when I originally started the beat for Kill Shot, it was actually for gigs. He always asked me for like these horror movie beats. That's what I was thinking when I made the Kill Shot beat, it's just something mean, gritty, grimy. At number five, we have Canada's Frank Dukes, the man behind the weekend's Call Out My Name, which may have been about Abel's ex, Selena Gomez. So call out my name. Duke's executive produced the weekend somber March 2018 EP, My Dear Melancholy. Next, at number four, we have the German twins Q-Beats, who also co-produced Travis Scott's Sicko Mode, along with Nicki Minaj and 6 ix Fifi with Murder Beats. I don't really want no fans, no. Draco got that kickback when I blow that day or do track, they don't shoot back one shot close range, right down head tight, yeah, I did that, yeah, I live. Number three is John Cunningham, the late XXX Tentacion collaborator and executive producer for Skins. In October, Genius spoke with Cunningham ahead of the release of X's first posthumous album and the process, and he said, quote, We basically started making this next album right after Question Mark came out. The songs and the ideas and the vision of it all was done or very close to being done. Coming in at number two is Kanye West, who led the production of five albums released over the span of five weeks in May and June. But his biggest hit was with Lil Pump. You're such a fucking hoe, I love it. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. Finally, at number one is Canada's other golden boy, Boy Wanda, who produced and co-produced a slew of songs this year, including Drake's tearjerker, God's Plan. I don't wanna die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers that outlive me. Boy Wanda and Drake go way back, and he's also worked with Drake on another early 2018 track, Diplomatic Immunity. You just know what you're getting with him. You, you just know that it's gonna be a hit song you know that it's gonna be like a moment. You know, anytime Drake drops something, like everybody like stops to hear it. So you just know that it's gonna be something great. So who's your favorite producer of 2018? Let us know. I'm Hillary with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. I finesse down Western Road, hey, next. Might go down to G-O-D, yeah.